Good day, everyone, or good evening, wherever you are. We're going to continue stitching here a bit on Old World Map 2. And contrary to what I wanted to do last week, I did not go ahead and find more. Well, I started looking for more floss, and then I was like, man, I really need to organize my floss. So I get distracted so easily. So, so easily. Um, let's see here. Zoinks. Here we go. Alrighty. Sue, so, hope you're having a good week. I've gotten two cross stitch designs stitched or finished stitched in the last ooh, seven to ten days or so, so I'm feeling pretty good. I also like the fact that I get to start on new stuff. That's my favorite. With Old World Map 2, that doesn't ever happen. Oh, let me scoot up a little bit. Get myself in the frame a little better. I hope the, f I hope the video looks okay. My, I think it's my light. Let me try a different... There we go. It's a different kind of light. It doesn't have like a, it's a softer light. The other light was having those little wavies through it. And I don't know if you guys can see that or not. It's like just the way that the LED... LED was working. This is this is good. This is like more natural light anyway, so and it actually seems brighter to me. Huh. Huh, as I say. Alrighty. Ah, come on. Yeah, I thought there was something on the inside of this needle. It's like flossing between a tooth. Making sure it's clean. Alright, so we're gonna do some fun work on uh this where we picked up from the last video where I was filling in all that light colored stuff. I'm going to continue with that um, by using some 3072. We're actually going to go back on this page. I still have all this confetti stitching to fill in um, just to get in there, but I actually have a color here that I can start with. So someone asked me in a comment, why don't I just do a loop stitch? Um, with this and you're very correct because I just didn't even think about that until just now so we gotta see we gotta see you know one thing that I would like about the pattern keeper app if it could do it would be if it could keep a and, and if it does do this and I just don't know it let me know but if it does um, actually like if it could keep track of like how many stitches you do in, I mean, cause it does for each pattern for the day, but it'd be cool. Fingernail is really dirty. Um, it'd be cool if uh, it would keep track of like your daily stitches throughout all your patterns and then your weekly and your monthly and your yearly. I mean, that would be a really cool feature um, that I think that us um, obsessive cross stitchers would really appreciate because we are obsessive. Obsessive. Now, what did I just do? See, I just messed that up. I cannot be trusted sometimes. I don't even know what I'm doing. What am I doing? All right, I'm going to fill this in and then this. There we go. I also had a comment from um, someone who uh, said that my... Uh, my my patterns, my, my, I think my design patterns always look better when I'm doing full coverage cross stitch. And that I don't doubt. That I don't doubt that they're more full, more color and whatnot. Um, but it takes so much longer to do that. And it's so much harder to do that on, um, like I'm, I'm really enjoying stitching on 25 count nowadays. This is 18 count, and I just I really like the 10 stitches. They're just faster. You just get so much more done. And for as much stitching as I do have to do, oh, I stitched that right. Remember when I used to stitch that into this? Like, yeah, I did it again. Uh, I'm not going to be able to cut that one out, so we're just going to pull it through here. Yeah. Someone asked me if I ever did this before. I was like, Psh, I do it all the time, and there's your example. 
All right, because it's Friday. Get that out of there. Let's pull this up here. The way I can help with that is I just pull that fabric that wants to fall. I just put my hand under it. Hopefully. Hopefully. Where was I? Okay, right there. But anyway, there's just so much stitching to do. Relatively so little time. So I had to keep my pattern keeper, see if I could keep my pattern keeper in uh, this section here. Boop. Boop, boop. Alrighty. So, it's down here. Let me just take a peek here. What I don't like, well, so, with pattern keeper, it will... When it tells you you stitched, it'll actually just kind of put the color of the fabric in that finished square. And my issue right now is that it just blends so well, it's hard for me to see for sure, like, well, where's that, where's that stitch? Where's that thing there? Boop, 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 ba-doo. Right there, okay, perfect. So that's just, that's just me complaining. That's just me a complaining. I actually got in trouble with YouTube this week. Um, they gave me a strike for uh, abusing community guidelines. And uh, I think, I don't know for sure, but I I, I don't know for sure what happened. I, I, I'm not sure if it's... Uh, um, Cause they, you know, when they, when they say that you violated something, they remove your video. And so I don't think I can go back and look. Oh, I'll have to go back and look at it, but they're like, you linked to a bad thing. I was like, no, I didn't. So I'm, I'm, I'm on appeal. I have an appeal with them right now. I don't, maybe I did. I have no idea now that I'm thinking about it. No, just because I was posting links to various cross-stitch stores, and there may have been a bad link in there. Uh, I'm just thinking about it out loud right now. So, but anyway, um, they just gave me a warning, and uh, it's really like my first legit warning. If that, if they don't accept my appeal, that would be my first legit warning. Which I mean, it's pretty good for like six, seven years. Of controversial cross stitching, you know, that's pretty good. I, I tread that line very daintily, like a tightrope walker, you know. So, no worries, no worries. I thought for a bit, I thought it was going to prevent me from actually doing videos. Um, today like you know putting another video up uh because they're like the next strike you you get you can't post for like seven days and uh i'm like well that would be really bad right now i mean back when i was just doing one weekly update video that wouldn't have been so bad but now that i'm doing all these stitch with me's and stuff i'm like uh oh there's gonna be a cross stitcher riot i'm gonna just do this one come here you This one. I'm almost ready for my Needlework Expo. I am getting some great feedback. It's a it's a online virtual trade show. Um, private. It's only for. Uh, designers and stores so it's a it's a really cool format where you know you can just show up to your computer roll out of bed and show up to your computer and talk to stores and it should be a blast I mean I really loved um, Nashville market I was so excited oh my gosh so much more than I thought I was going to be I, I thought I would be like I don't know, 
nervous. Well, I was nervous, but like I thought I would be more just unsure or I don't know. But anyway, I was so excited because I just, because it, getting to talk about my stuff, my cross stitch patterns, I just, I'm so passionate about it. I love it so much. I love making patterns that means mean things to people. They just don't look pretty, but you do it because you, you know, you had an experience or you you really love something and, you know, I can give you a pattern that can turn that into like a really like almost art, you know, really. I mean, I would say it is art. But that's just me talking. But, yeah, I'm excited. It's next weekend, so don't worry. My video will, should still be out on time next week for this uh, Stitch With Me. These um, overall map twos are, like, really popular with you guys. So I do need to stitch on this in between. I, and I, you know what, and I thank you for that. I thank you for how popular this is because it shows me that you guys want me to finish this maybe more than I want to finish it. Well, I wouldn't say more, but you're you're reinforcing that. You're you're reminding me how much I wanted to finish this at one point. So I thank you for that. And I'm I'm so glad that we got back doing this. And it's such a different world using the pattern keeper. It's just so much easier, guys. I can't even tell you. I mean I can tell you. I mean I don't know why I wouldn't tell you. Just go lighter. If I just go a little lighter, it will, it's a little more fine. It's so fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, good. Rock on. Rock on. Oh, man. Come down here. There's a lot of stitches to do down here. Dooby dooby doo. Dooby dooby doo. Dooby dooby doo. Dooby dooby doo. Dooby got out and socialized for the first time in quite a while which was it felt good it felt good to get out and see people I've been pretty much a hermit since I uh, kind of went through my spell of whatever whatever was going on with me um, but uh, I'm feeling I'm feeling better every day now I'm getting good sleep and uh, I am so excited to be able to devote more time to cross-stitch stuff. I can feel that piece of fabric wants to get in there. It wants to get in there and become more a part of this pattern, but I'm not going to let it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Someone asked me also in a comment how many skeins of floss um, are used in this pattern. I'm like, I literally have no idea. I mean, it's, it has, I mean, it's over 200 colors. And I'd say, I mean, when you're talking about some of these things having 4,000 colors and whatnot, I'd say on this, um, I don't even know how long a, uh, on 18 count full cover you know like a full cross stitch how much um maybe somebody else can tell me that how much it can um cover but a lot let's just say a lot the nice thing is is that it's so spread out over um one, two, 
be so spread out over years that, you know, doesn't really kind of show up in, in a way that feels, I don't know, like overly burdensome because you're like, oh, I got to go get a hundred screens. You know, it's, uh, I used to feel like that when I was doing like, um, like back in the day when I was doing Ronnie Rowe designs. By the way, Ronnie Rowe has his own YouTube now. Um, he just started Ronnie Rowe Design is, or Ronnie Rowe Designs is the name on YouTube. And it's R-O-N-N-I-E-R-O-W-E. -E. Um, and uh, I was like, look at him go. He is just doing all kinds of crazy things. And um, but anyway, back when I was doing Ronnie's um, monochrome work, the black work, with just using like a 310 DMC, I was going through so many skeins of floss for so long. And then I discovered cones, and that's been a game changer. Game changer. That really, really, really has helped a ton. A ton. And I don't know how many skeins fit on a fit on a, somebody out there has the calculation for it but it's many 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 skeins so yeah so it's nice having that I don't stitch with any one particular color enough that it would make sense I think to get a skein of another color I don't know I've been watching a lot of videos this week of floss organization. Um, there's so much out there. And I really like the... Oh, I'm going to totally butcher this. Um, man, I can't remember. But they're like they're like the, the skeins, but... Well, that has a lot of hair on it. Look at that. Different dogs. Cat. Um, but they're... they're the the blah, 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 blah. the bobbin is um, a lot more substantial, thicker, um, more durable, and the it snaps in the front. I think it comes like that maybe with the with the number and the actual color of the floss, and um, it is uh, it is really cool. It is also really expensive, <laughs> and uh, something that I'm not looking to get anytime soon. But I someday I would love to have that. That would be the coolest thing, like a whole set. But pine, yeah, something I might have gotten for myself when I was still like when I was still working and stuff, but not now, not now. A little, a little extravagant. Although technically, I could probably call it business business expense. However, let's not be crazy. Well, let's not be too crazy at the moment. Doop, 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 Yep, getting ready for the show. The big shoe. The big shoe is what everybody's talking about. Excited, excited, excited. Meet more stores, create more relationships. It's going to be amazing. been working on that for quite some time actually uh I did put out a couple new designs well I didn't put them out I've been working on them and I'm showing them to the stores I haven't shown them to anybody else yet but some that I'm super excited about all right let's highlight for a sec here because I'm losing when I start losing my uh my place I know that I I need to highlight a little bit Boop, doo, doo, doo. Boop, beep, boop beep, boop boop oh goodness oh 
goodness. So it's August 19th. I keep talking about having this end done, you know, sometime in the near future. Can I do it? Um, no. I don't know, because I still worry. Am I going to have enough space? Ooh, wouldn't that suck? Yeah, I'm not sure if I have enough. Do I have enough space? Okay. So where did I start on this end? Let me look here. I gave myself an appropriate amount of space. For once, I gave myself an appropriate amount of space. Hmm. As I'm thinking about it. I know I've done this before. I know that I've had this worry before, like four years ago, and I know I've looked at it, but let me just do a really rough measurement. All right, the math is gonna be way off on this, but so let's say if I had 10 inches, okay, so it looks like 20 stitch, well, that would make sense, right? 18, 18 things per inch, so roughly about 20. So I have 10 inches to go, and if I pull out my abacus and my, um, what is this? Oh, yeah. Let me just work some magic here. Do I have a real pen? Do I have a real pen? Probably not. Let's just use, let's use this one. So I have 10 inches. Yeah, 10 inches left, and I have 18, I think, per inch. That doesn't matter. 10 inches of fabric, and I'm at 800, I need 100 and, well, let's zoom in and see, 990 total. I don't even know how I'm doing the math right now, so don't laugh at me. You probably at home are like, well, that's so easy to do. I'm like, probably is. Um, 770 to, to 910, so theoretically, I need about 220 space. And if 220 stitches, and if 18 fit per inch, I'm going to do some long math here for you crazy kids who don't know what I'm doing, the Divi actual division. I don't even know why you guys are doing what you're doing now. It's so crazy. So 12, uh-oh. So 12 inches. Oh, it's going to be close on the end. Is, oh, wait, you maybe this helped. Okay. Now this is just going to, I'm going to obsess over it until I can get this done. Hold on. Oh, wait. I'll move that out of the way, move that out of the way, move this out of the way. Boy, what, am I going to be mad? I'm not going to be mad. Okay, I might be mad, but it's going to be okay. Oh, I have plenty of room. Okay, I have plenty of room. Once I, wah, once I took out the, uh, the thing that was causing the problem. So what I need is, I need, what, like 12 inches? Is that the math that I just did? If I have 18 threads per inch, or 18 through, and then I need 220 more, so I need 12 inches. So right there. That gives me about two inches on that side. Yeah, that's probably what I asked for when I had this cut. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, it will fit. It's going to be close, but it will fit. And in some ways, I mean, yeah, it's going to be a pain in the butt to frame, but that's something I'm not going to worry about until like 2054 or something. So by then, who knows what we have technology-wise. So, All right, let me get back to it sit here and you guys see how I how I easily get distracted. There we go. I'm mixing and matching with my hoops because I just like it. Just like it. Yeah, I should overlap that bit more. Let me get in there. Yes or no. Yay or nay. It is nice and cool today. It's got to be like high 60s, low 70s outside. Fall is coming. Fall is coming. I'm so happy. Football season and everything. Okay. Boop-a-doop-a-doo.
eight years later. Oops, that's not right. Okay, I gotta fix this. No? There we go. Phew. Good, good googly mooglies. Right. Eight years later. Um, what was I doing? 3072? Yeah. So look, look, 3072, almost 49,000 stitches left to go. How many skeins of 3072 is that? Am I going to have enough? No, I'm going to have to get more at some point, but cool stuff. All right, let me zoom in so we can see what we're doing here. Slide this over a bit. Okay, that was a very informative, instructive lesson. I feel like my self-imposed anxiety is now better. Well, most anxiety is self-imposed. Actually, probably all of it is, right? Somebody's going to do the math and it's going to be like, no, you didn't, it didn't fit, no. And I'm like, no. Because of course it didn't actually, the math didn't come out perfect. So it was 12 and... Yeah, it's a smidge over 12. I can't do math. I used to be able to do math. Eh, as you get older, you lose math skills, you know, it, it kind of, it goes away, kids, you know, you're like, I'm so good at math, I'm gonna be good at math my whole life, you know, that's not always how it works, like, math is best when you're young, and your brain is like, oh, like, feed me, feed me math, you get older, brain stops asking for that, brain's like, feed me a nap, So if you guys, uh, why don't you guys tell me what year I'm going to finish? When am I going to finish this project? You tell me. When am I going to finish it? Is it going to be, could it, could it actually be by 2030 or is it going to be like, I have, let's see, I have, uh, well, actually, I don't know exactly how many stitches I have left. I have like, oh, no, I do. 54,000 stitches left. Seriously? That's not right. That's how many I've gotten done. I have like 640,000 stitches to go. Calculate that, you math wizards. I know you're math wizards out there. I'm gonna kind of jump a little bit here because it helps. It helps. Oh, we Todd. Well, that's Topher barking. Always wait to see if he'll continue. He's trying to decide if he wants to be bad or not. So, if you've been with me for the the six years, the dogs have uh, have aged greatly. Obviously, six years of aging. I don't know. I mean, they're they were all. Um, never knew the ages for sure, and I keep forgetting. I mean, because I would put 
my Topher, I would put, let's see, let's think about it a sec while I'm stitching here. It was probably about four when I got him, and I've had him for, I don't know how long I've had him. You guys are no better than me, maybe. But I think, all right, hold on a second. All right, just had to bring the tofu inside. So if I, if I think about it in that my husband and I had our first date, it'll be crazily enough, like eight years in January, which is absolutely insane. That's also um, Zuzu's age is eight. She'll be eight January 1st. Um, and let's see. I mean, we don't know Binky's age for sure, again, because she came as a rescue. Because when she came, they were like, oh, she's only like six years old. And I'm like, Pfft. I mean, I can age uh, based on my, there's a different way to age. Um, and breeders are going to lie. And so, or not, I shouldn't say breeders. Uh, disrespectful puppy mill breeders are going to lie. Um, and so, because uh, I think, I think she's got to be like, 13, 14, and, and possibly a little bit older than that. And she's going to live forever, though, just so you guys know, because she's, she's the best. She's the best. Don't tell anybody else. Don't tell all the other dogs. Yeah, we have a favorite. Sorry. Um, now, Doogie, I actually do know when he was born. But again, I can't remember when it was. <laughs> I want to say he's like 12. Um, Doogie, how old are you? You were born on October 4th. So I don't know. Your birthday's coming up, but I don't remember how old you actually are. But he's around the same age as Topher. So they could both be turning 12 or 13 this year. And then Bailey, who's been with me, I got her about a month, two, well, yeah, about a month before, um, I met my husband, so eight and nine, and she was like six or seven at the time that, uh, maybe a little young, maybe she was five or six, but that would put her at like 13, 14 years old right now, but she is acting like that. She's, uh, she's been struggling. Am I forgetting anybody? Fargo passed away this past year, and Jelly passed away, so. Her kitty passed away in January. He was probably about 18 at that point. Still have Groot, the axolotl, because he's got to be like six, seven maybe. I think he might be might be seven. I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure on him. I have raised him since he was a little bit of baby. Fed him a big old worm last night. He loved it. Stitching. Oop, let's see. Oop. So I got the, and I got that done. Hmm. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do this. Yeah. Nah. I'm gonna stop what I'm doing right there with that color, just cause. I don't want to get too far ahead of myself like I always do. And I actually did not have that much more floss on this needle here. So, all right. Do I have, I have 3024, don't I? Some of this, some of these, some of this floss is, is bit seen better days. That is 3024. See, and 3024 has 33,000. What, can you see it? 33,000 stitches to go. I mean, that's just... That's just crazy ridiculous. 
I saw a kind of a cool, kind of cool, um, thing on uh, YouTube the other day, and it was like an electronic, uh, it was a big standing frame to hold cross stitch, and it was like, um, electronic, so you could like hit a button and it would roll it down, or roll it up, or whatever, um, the thing about that was it looked like the fabric that was being used was really stiff to begin with. I don't know if anybody has any experience with that or know of anything like that. But my issue with my like my roller frame is I would love to I would love to I thought originally that I'd be able to put something like this on a roller frame or something large. But the problem lies in not being able to get this stiff enough for what I like. In terms of, I don't know, I don't have room for something like that at this point anyway, but just wondering. Doop, doop, doop. Oh, you know what? Let's do the loop stitch. Hold on before I get, actually I'm going to need a lot larger piece of, well, 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 nah, I won't do loop stitch because I already cut this a shorter length and it would make the loop stitch so much more annoying. Ah, so I drop it. Okay then, eight years later. Let's see, do I have any? None this stitch right there that's within an easy grasp. Go all the way over here. Get in there. Yeah. And then let me ask you guys, if, if I were to uh, stitch on something else, like old, or if you just said, hey, you know, at some point, could you finish this project? I'm pretty sure you guys are going to say Randy Water Replace, but I actually was having issues with knowing, whoops, let's not go all the way down there with knowing for sure, like, my pattern keeper was off a little bit, so that that pat, that poor rainy water replace has definitely seen better days, but I think if I were to do that, I would probably stitch on that on my own, like, not necessarily do it on, maybe the finish I would do on, whoops, I lost my light from my monitor, um, Maybe the finish I would do on a uh, on a video, but I've got to do the vast majority of my current stuff on um, on my actual designs and stuff. But the funny thing is, I totally forgot to show this during the the video this week, the weekly update. Didn't show this one at all. <sighs> Wasn't intentional. Just simply forgot it. There we 
go. Brain, brain focus. I went off on a tangent of, uh, it was cross-stitching related, but it was not this project related. I have a t-shirt somewhere. I don't know if it still fits me, but it's like, um, something about, something about I, I hear, you know, I'm pretending to listen to you while I think about cross-stitch or something like that. I don't know, something like that. this over sweet mama oh yeah and the bird who is like I mean guys how long have I had the bird like four or five years now five years he was like nine then so he's like 13, 14, maybe 15 years old. No, you know, it, yeah, it's just, they live forever, except for the fish. The fish did not, thankfully, the fish did not live forever. Man, you remember those King Kong parrot fish I had, the big, big orange ones? Oh, what jerks, man. It was like this whole soap opera that happened towards the end of their, their lives, where there was like one female and two males, and the two males were always like trying to, hurt each other and eventually the big male killed the littler male um, I mean he he injured him in a way that I think led to his death let's just say that I mean you know wasn't proven in court or anything but I have my suspicions and uh, but they all just kind of you know they did they did die sort of because, I mean, they had a very interesting life with all the different dramas and whatnot, but once I once those guys passed, I just was like, all right, I'm done with fish. My poor husband. We were talking about that the other day, my fish phase. Because when I have a phase and I jump into something, I jump into it, like, with everything I have. And uh, the this, this stuff that I love, love, sticks around, like cross-stitch, sticks around and stays in my life and the other stuff just you know fades away the axolotl has stayed um i love him he's great he's really easy to care for as well but he's pretty cool he's pretty cool i kind of like him give me this give me this Oop. Hot diggity dog. Certainly getting a lot of these lighter colors done on this section, which is good. 
so funny. The parakeet sounds like a little chimpanzee at times. I have some I have some kind of music, some pop music playing for him upstairs. He's gonna get excited when it's time for Christmas music. That's his favorite time. Favorite time of the year is Christmas. So this is Christmas. Ah! Dropped the bobbin. I dropped the bobbin. Dropped the bobbin again. Fingers. Oh yeah, so we're talking about, I have, I'm gonna go see a hand surgeon about my little bump on my joint there. Can you see it? It's probably just like a little cyst underneath the tendon sheath there. It's not like that. I mean, it's it's bright like that, but that's the tendon sheath. But it's not like it doesn't stick out. You know, that's that's awesome, isn't it? It's starting to hurt when I grab things. Like last night, I was I went to open a door and turn the knob, and I caught it right on that spot. It was like ah. So getting it figured out. I'm gonna go see somebody and get taken care of. So. If I were to have to miss some stitching or something, I would pre-record pre ahead of time some videos for everybody. Three, eight, six, six. That's what I'm gonna do next. That's that one. It's funny how 57,822 stitches. That's insane. I don't think this is, I don't think that's going to last me. Um, it's funny how even just doing this top row on this pattern, how much, like how much memorized everything is. Cause like that's 928. Whoops. That's 3024. That's four five one. No, four fifteen. That's right. This is four five one. Uh, three zero two four. Four five three. Um, three seven five six. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, so I mean, it's just like you know five two four. Like I have all this memorized, which is absolutely ridiculous. And I haven't hardly worked on this thing in like at least a couple of years. That's just ingrained in my brain. It's kind of funny. It does sometimes make for more difficult, like when I'm stitching one of my patterns and I'm using a similar symbol or something. It will sometimes lead to a little confusion. I have to be careful. All right, let's go back over to the edge here. All right, I wanna go up. I'm not gonna worry about that top one just yet. I'm just gonna work on this little area. Okay. All righty, rock and roll. <laughs> I don't know how like similar this looks. I mean, when I first started stitching, everything looks really similar, but then after a little bit, you can see the subtle changes in the different in the different floss colors. It's kind of funny though.
soak so we can get some of the tangle out of it. Okay. That's a lot of tangle. Right. Boop, 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 boop. I'll just go through here. this up a smidge. All right, let's do the last right here. Dooby 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 doo. Crazy how much I'm kind of filling this in. I'm gonna have over a hundred stitches done today, which is good. So do that calculation. Like if I had let's see, six hundred and forty, let's just say six hundred thousand, make it even. If I do six hundred thousand, if I have six hundred thousand stitches to go and I do a hundred a week. I have to live to be like 300 years old or something like that. It's possible. You never know, it's possible. So I'm gonna have to up it, up the number of stitches per week at some point. Well, this is my retirement piece. So when I'm no longer doing anything else, I'll be doing this. I'm trying to get better on my on my scatterbrainedness though. I find that if I if I'm having a thought, like I'm like, okay, I gotta do this. I got this is something I gotta get done. This is something I gotta get done, and it comes back in my head two or three times because it just circles back around. That I know at that point, I'm like, all right, just sit down, and do it, just do it right now. So since I have the time, I can do it used to be quite the procrastinator just because of, I think it was a stress response and lack of discipline for sheer, which the lack of discipline, I still don't have discipline, but hopefully it's getting a little better. Do 
Now, because there's just these two little stitches, I am going to jump over there and do those just because there's just two. It'd be stupid to come back later and and have to just fill those two in when I could have done it when I was here. I know I have all kinds of rural exceptions and it's all good. And what I should do when I'm done with this is I should really just continue stitching on this for another at least a couple hours or so. See how much more I can get done and filled in over there. Just gotta track down the track down the stitching. Track, blah, blah, blah. track down the floss. That would be the smart thing to do. And I am gonna come over here and do that one out there since there's nothing close by. up and around here we go somebody's got some serious bass going on outside can you hear that you probably can guys well I am just gonna fit, fit in one more stitch here and then this will be it for this week's episode and unless something jumps out at me as soon as I finish this I should be able to uh, continue stitching on this for a little while longer today just get some more work done on it it's a nice break from having to do stuff 126 stitches today that's insane zoom out oh look at that oh that's cool you can see like the outlines there's a lot for the for the two circle half half of the globes part that is cool yeah very cool all right guys well we'll see where we're at next week we'll see uh, how close we are to uh I mean, my next thing is getting, like, all that done. That would be my next goal while I'm stitching on this. Move back and get all that done. So, we'll see. We'll see. Have a great rest of your day. And uh, happy stitching. <laughs>